Afternoon beard brand, Josh here again with uh, Darren and we're gonna sort out his hair and beard. So Darren, what can I do for you then mate? Um, so just back down to a grey two on the sides, um, a little bit more length off um, that's there, probably about a centimetre or two. Yeah, same um, style, just all swept style, across, yeah. yeah. And then with the beard, do we sort of just literally tighten up yeah. all the edges, get rid of that sort of bouffant in the chair? Lovely, no worries. So with my seniors, going in with the two. Just put my baseline all the way around the side of the head. Follow me, mate. So yeah, just literally follow the two, start on both sides, and then work all the way back to the occipital bone. So now with my one guard, just gonna go in just on the, uh, the base of the neck, just to fade it out. Every haircut I do, I always just taper the neckline. It just gives a lot smoother finish. Grows out a lot nicer that way as well. You don't get any Boston necklines or anything like that, no square lines. And some hair grows up, so I always flip the kip around and just feather it down. And I just go for one and a half on the lever. And just with a wrist, just flick it up. And then just to soften up that half to a two, just go in straight with the clipper, and just flick the teeth. This just softens up that line, it doesn't take too much bulk out. And I tend to go sideways across it just by using the first sort of three teeth, and just flicking it along the line. So with the Osters, <clears throat> these run at a lot slower rate, so it's nice just to taper in that neckline into nothing. I haven't zero gapped my senior clippers, so um, I always use these just as a uh, finishing touch to a taper. Because the, uh, the lever on these clippers actually extends just under a one, whereas the, uh, the seniors only open to a 0.5. And now with my hand this, just gonna go around the edge of the haircut and just sharpen everything up. And that's the bottom half done. I'm gonna be careful not to take it too high around people's ears, so just by combing the hair down, gives you all the loose ends. So you want it to have more of a softer feel. So just following the, uh, the natural hairline, not going in it too far. Just taking off those edges just to tidy it up. I want this haircut to look crisp, but with a more softer touch. Now just going in with a free. And just flick out the edges, just so it softens up this for when I scissor over comb. A lot of people like to go in with um, <clears throat> the clippers and take the weight out by doing clipper over comb, but I've always found, personally, I prefer the uh, scissor over comb because it gives it a lot more softer feel, and that's obviously the aim of this haircut, not to make it look too square. So just by flicking the free along the edges, it's just going to soften it up, so I, when I come to use my scissors, I'm not going to have to take too much with it. Now for the scissors, just comb the hair out the way and just section it down as I go. And then just do this all the way around the side of the head. I'm gonna say I prefer scissor over comb just because that's what, when I learned, <clears throat> when I learned the two, this is the, the method that I sort of stuck to the most. Use clipper over comb more for 
dead straight hair people that have real um, sort of square style haircuts. It's easier to uh, obviously comb it out and then cut it all the same length, but with uh, haircuts like these, you want a little bit more shape and a bit more softer look to it rather than the, the solid square look. I tend to spin my customers around as much as possible, uh, not to make them dizzy, but to, uh, to use the lighting that we've got. Some sides are uh, easier to see than others, depending on the color of the hair. Shop's looking really cool there. Yeah, we were keeping the same sort of style, but um, like we say, the same, same, but different. Mm. I think everyone's loving the bar mm. compared to the Ashley Road one. Yeah. So how much you want to snip off the top? Just a general tidy up or are we, uh, are we chopping a bit of length a little off? Bit, little bit more length. About an inch or so, so you've yeah, got that, that's yeah? That's Just due to the style of the hair, that's how you want to go, so it's longer one end. Cut its way down. Ooh. <laughs> you seen him mount the table before? I haven't, haven't seen this, this is the first. I said, have you ever seen Carlos yeah, mount the table before? The chair is too close to the table, and this one actually has room for me to sit down. Just hope you mount Lazy, it. that's all it is. So all I'm doing now is just combing the two, matching them up, and then I can just sort of see there's a slight bit of length left to be trimmed. No, no, leave it. You should be filming this. You should be filming this. Why should I? Prop me up, so I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Film it with my camera, Mahesh, and we'll have the video. Do a behind the scenes, behind the scenes. Now just flicking through the edges. Just to feather this out. I want to keep as much weight at the top as possible, but as it gradually goes down to the occipital bone, you want it just to lay a lot smoother. Just follow this all the way around the head. I'm not actually taking too much off. I'm not combing it and then going in. I'm literally just flicking through the edges. Not going to style it too much just yet, but just to get it into the shape so that we can do the beard and then we'll uh, put up the both. That's why I tend to use these little afro combs. It just picks out all the knotty hair from inside the beard rather than using your standard comb, which will only comb about an inch or so on the outskirts of it. You want to use one of these which goes all the way down. Go along the face, underneath the chin, you know, just de knots everything really. What an Afro comb's designed for. It works wonders on beards. So, what we're going to do is literally just trim all these loose hairs off the side, give it a bit more shape again. should be comb every now and then, you can comb out, especially on the sideburns, just to taper them in a little bit, just angle your comb inwards, which creates a nice softer taper, and fades it into the hair that way as well. So all we're pretty much doing is just flicking through all these straggly loose hairs. <clears throat> By trimming these back, it's going to make the beard look a lot more fuller. I'm not actually taking too much length off. Just looking around the face and you can see all the hairs that stick out. You should always move the beard out of the way of your finger just to trim just underneath the ear so the beard hair when it grows out doesn't match the back of the head. Pretty much just about putting that shape back in.
And then chuck your line in the cheek tub as well, yeah? Yeah. And especially with this, not to push it too far. So same again, same as when you line up the hairline, just follow their natural line and just take the fair few hairs that just sit above that line. And then just using the foils, it just cleans up the cheek line. Bit of product that in the hair and beard? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, no worries, my man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Smoke and mirrors. So, with the uh, sea salt spray in there, just drying it into place. A nice bit of lifting to be, be able to mould it afterwards. I could spend hours combing people's hair, making sure it's perfect, but gotta give up at some point. Perfect job. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, Carlos? There's no such thing. <laughs> well, in that case, yeah. Oh, it's really good. Really, yeah, really brilliant. Good. Cheers, oh. thank you. <laughs> so with this literally just going through the front, we've already got the uh, the weight of the other the spray in there. So this is just to separate it to not make it look too combed. So I came in for about 10 minutes. Kind of pointless, really. But that way I know which way the hair needs to sit. And this just gives it more of a natural look rather than having it too combed. Because he's only going to go step outside and it's just going to do this anyway, so I might as well style it that way. I just want a bit of oil in the beard as well. Yoink! A few dashes into the hand. <laughs> you loved it, Keith, didn't you? What's that? Your ears perked up when you heard that noise. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Oh, of course you didn't. I was talking about mate, the mate boy here, the driver. Yeah, Darren. Happy. Very happy. So He's happy. <laughs> yes, mate. Yeah. That's what he pays me for. Pays me to touch him <laughs> in a subtle way. Well, Thanks for watching this video. Beardbrand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.